Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you a, your daily tarot reading for today, Tuesday, November 17th. Uh, and I do apologize, first and foremost, for not getting this out sooner than right now. It's just I was traveling yesterday, and you know when you get off a plane, and uh, it was a very, very busy uh, couple of days. But um still want to get this out for you, even if it's a little bit late, you know, for those of you who are on a different time. Um scheduled than I am but um and I also do apologize for any noise in the background this uh is my last week filming here and living here uh to update you I found a new place to live in uh sunny California across the country and I'll be moving there as of Monday so uh thank you guys for your patience but um I meditated on the energy overall for the day and the message that came through was taking back control taking back control and I feel like it's going to be a very busy day and very focused. But let's get started. Let's first pull a message or two from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. What do we have for our beautiful collective for Tuesday, November the 17th? Thank you, Spirit. That's quite somber. What else do we have for today? The 17th, Tuesday. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have two and they're saying just to go with those, which is very interesting. So we're starting off with the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? It feels like a day where a lot of you will be planning and getting ready for a new chapter. I mean, I know I'm packing to get ready to move, but whatever it is for you, and it feels like this is, uh, this always comes through, or it often does as like a kind of tower card moment. You know, what are you clinging on to? You know, what is the universe kind of pushing out of your life or, you know, what tower is being, you know, kicked or broken down? Or are you choosing at this point to let go of a situation and to move into something that's healthier or more meant for you, more aligned with you at this point in your life? Very interesting. And then play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. It feels like things are changing for the collective in a beautiful way. You know, if you were drawn to this video, you have been a bit serious lately for the majority of you. And it's, I feel like it has a lot to do with your circumstances, your situation you've been in, you know. Uh, but, you know, if that's the case, try to lighten up, try to have fun. You know, realize that things are changing for the better, that you have a lot to look forward to as you do take back control of your own life. Nice. So even though it's a really busy and focused day, I feel like it's also a day where as things change for the better and you move towards better times, try not to let yourself be super serious. You know, try to have fun, you know, in between all that you're getting accomplished. So let's do some shuffling and pull four tarot cards for the day. One shuffled down. So again, I apologize if you can hear any noise in the background. Alrighty. What do we have for the Beautiful Collective to continue this reading for Tuesday the 17th? Oh, we got them all. Very interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Today is a day where things are going to be moving quickly for you. I, it feels like you're doing one thing and then on to the next. Checking things off your to-do list, preparing for something or simply uh, just accomplishing everything you need to in the day, whether it's work or uh, once again, preparation, um, things around the house. It's gonna be different for everybody, but you will be quite impressed with yourself by the end of the day as to how much you accomplish, you know, with being so focused and, you know, as you once again, take back control of your life. This is also coming through as each of us individually kind of realizing and recognizing today even more so than we have been recently that things are happening quickly in our life things are changing quickly as certain situations you know fall to the ground or are replaced by bigger and better things it feels like not a few of you but a, a good amount of you your one of your dreams is starting to come true i know mine is 
All right, so actually we're gonna take that. It's a day where you won't be necessarily, I don't feel like you'll be overwhelmed though with all that you're accomplishing. It's like you're doing a much much better job today of just going one thing to the next, one thing to the next. Oh, I'm gonna go back to that, okay. You know, and just doing what you have to. All right, so let's put these out. Bear with me as I am guided to put them in the right spots. All right, so we are starting with the Eight of Cups. This is all about you swimming away, you know, in this imagery or walking away, flying away. Uh, however you, whatever mode of transportation you decide to utilize, you're moving away from whatever isn't serving you anymore whatever needs to be put in the past or simply just put to the side temporarily for you to start over or to start fresh or to just experience something better for you, something new. And, you know, you can see all of these cups that are sort of watching you leave, you know, watching you head off in a different direction or simply do some something new for you, something you've always wanted to do. And it's side by side with this crumbling card, which we were talking about being somewhat of a, a tower card. And as you swim away, as you move away from what isn't working for you anymore, you are allowing that tower to fall. And it doesn't mean that you, those people or those situations won't be in your life in any way, shape, or form, but they will definitely be kind of taking a smaller role as you do, once again, what's right for you. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And so the first half of the day starts to wrap up and it feels like you get in a very creative work focused mindset. You start doing what's necessary for you to, you know, when it comes to your job or your career, your business, uh, maybe some of you will simply make some art and that could be intertwined with your job as well. I just feel like it's one of those days where you don't mind doing what you have to. You know, and this is wrapped up in a day where you're also getting other things checked off your to-do list like I've been talking about. And it just, like, once again goes back to the being very focused uh, throughout the day. And I do feel like you're, as you prepare to, you know, move to better days, to a better situation for yourself, whatever it is for you, you, you know, are then moving into getting your work done. So it's a very, very productive day. So we're moving into the second half of the day slash spread and we have the two of cups. I'm getting a soul connection uh, sends you a text, a message in some way, shape or form, maybe a phone call. I'm hearing laughter. It's like, my guide is just laughing. <laughs> and I really feel like that's what will, it's side by side with this play card, I feel as if when you kind of get a lot done in this first half of the day and you feel good about it nonetheless, but spirit in the universe sees, you know what, you got to lighten up just just a little bit. You got to enjoy this because, you know, as you are preparing or doing all that you need to today, you have so many great days ahead of you, you know, a lot to look forward to and be excited about. So, you know, they want you to have some fun and enjoy this process as you get ready or, uh, again, head towards better waters. And, um, and so it almost feels like your main guide comes through or the universe as a whole comes through and, um, pushes the soul connection to reach out to you or for you to reach out to them. And uh, just like I was saying, you guys are going to be laughing. It doesn't necessarily need to be like a physical gathering. It could be, but it just feels like at the very least, you're going to be communicating with what feels like one of the soul connections in your life that makes you truly smile. I got a big grin on my face right now. I know you can't really see it, but... It's exactly how you'll be. And spirits in the background kind of just being like, well, I'm good. <laughs> you know, we're good. They they did what they needed to. They pushed this whole connection uh, interaction to happen. And you did. You lightened up. You had a bit of fun. You celebrated. And it feels like this is the person you want to celebrate with about what you have to look forward to. Love it. 
and then the devil. So we finish off the day and it feels like there's a little bit of too, uh, just too much of something, excuse me, if I could say it, uh, whether it's too much drinking or too much uh, overthinking, too much stress, maybe you're working too much throughout into the end of the day, where you need to just take it down a notch and realize you can get everything done. You may have a short timeline or, you know, uh, it just feels like you have a very limited time to accomplish something or certain things throughout the day. And so you kind of want to get it all done right away. But they're saying the end of the day should, it just feels like the second half of the day should be spent laughing and enjoying yourself, celebrating kind of self-care. But it just feels like after the soul connection interaction is uh, done with in that third quarter, you sort of get back into go mode and it, you kind of should have, or you should uh, take it, take a step back and just kind of relax a little bit and realize that you can pick it back up in the morning. Oh, and the Two of Cups is aligned with this Eight of Cups, and I feel like it, it does feel like you, for some of you, you may have to move away or swim away from this soul connection in one way, shape, or form, and you feel kind of guilty about it, but at the same time, they don't blame you. They they see your circumstances. They see where you're moving towards and how happy it makes you, and it makes them equally as happy. So at the end of the day, don't don't feel bad. You know, it's not like they're going to leave your life. I truly see you guys staying connected in one way, shape, or form, regardless of the change you're making. And the devil card is aligned with this eight of pentacles. Exactly too much working for a lot of you too much uh, of staying focused, you know, you just keep that in mind as your day does come to an end, try to slow it down at that point, you know, take yourself out of that eight of wands, sort of go, go, go mode, and um, realize that you're taking back control. So you don't need to stress yourself out, keep having a little bit of fun, keep it light, and enjoy these changes, my friend. So with that said and done, I more than appreciate all of your likes and comments, subscriptions, and I hope this reading was truly helpful. More importantly, I hope you have the most amazing Tuesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.